Today is February, today is 27, Friday. Today is finally the day of egg retrieval. Are we excited? Yes. <laughs> or nervous? Nervous. Today I'm totally makeup free or like I also even like unsure if I should even put out skincare. But I think that's fine because it, you know all the skincare will be absorbed into my skin. Um, so it's not like a powder that will be in the air. And in terms of symptoms, so I've been feeling like fullness in my lower belly and a little bit like a pulling like a feeling once in a while. And another symptom I'm having right now is as soon as I got up of my bed and walked around, I felt like my breasts were really tender. Nervous? Nervous, yeah. Anxious. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's get these eggs out. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, this is a hard journey for sure. You know, it's hard on my body, hard on my mental well-being. Also hard on our wallet. <laughs> Financial, you know, security is a huge part of your mental health. Even though it's been a hard journey, I am very appreciative of you know the opportunity. It is hard, I'm not gonna lie, but it's also a privilege to do it. And I'm grateful that you know we have the resources to go through this. Um, I know there are a lot of people who don't have the resource. Going through this, I realize a lot of things in life, you know, you don't have control. I am a very proactive person. So it's been hard going through IVF because there are certain measures you can take. There are certain proactive actions you can take, but it's up to biology what kind of outcome you will get out of this. For the last couple of visits to the clinic, I just wanted to be like, okay, let's now complete this journey. The reason I'm saying this is because in the morning, I felt a little bit like, you know, I'm going to a test. You know, it's like a, a college exam or something like that. Like something that you've worked on for a while and now it's time to take the test and get a score or something. But then I realized it's not about how many eggs we got. Like, you know, it's at the end, it's about completing your journey. Again, I'm grateful we were able to be on this journey together and we are able to complete the journey. That's all that matters. You have one more banana when you come out. I know, I'm like, I'm actually getting a little bit thirsty, but it's okay. I can't even drink anymore, so. Yeah. She had to look for a new blood vessel because <laughs> the main one was just so overused. But I'm glad that she found a new one, so. Okay. Good. Very good. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous, but no. I'm ready. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> How was your experience? It's fine. It's fine. Was it easy? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. No ultrasound, no blood work, huh? No, no, for your part. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna sit on the phone and read the work. Just yeah, like yeah. Messages. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being here. Maybe. Keep my fingers crossed. Yes. For the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> the entire time. Mm -hmm. They said they will tell us about how many eggs are retrieved today, and how many mature, and how many are fertilized tomorrow. So we're not gonna. Count our chickens before the eggs hatch. What? <laughs> We're not gonna count our chickens before the eggs hatch. <laughs> so we'll see. We just no expectations. Yeah, that's so true. That's so true with IVF. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm thinking about some croissants. Okay. Yes. Some, some croissants. French, something French. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Chocolate mm -hmm. croissants. Yes. Yeah. So ready. Let's get these eggs out. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I didn't know that I was sleeping for an hour. I believe it's like 10 yeah. minutes. Not like an hour. Yeah, we're like an hour. Yeah. So do you need the egg count? No, nothing. I'm very small to me. Oh. Do you want to know? Yes. 10. More. On the left. Ah. On the right. 11 on the other side. 21. 
I am mostly awake now. I can walk. And then we are here at the ramen place. Because we, I need to get salty broth. Twenty one eggs were retrieved today, and they're going to let us know tomorrow how many are mature and how many are fertilized. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the cyst, of course, um, the ovarian cyst. My doctor said that the cyst was not in the way of her retrieving eggs, so that's great. You know, like I, when I, was, when I started this journey, the cyst was just a nightmare. Like no one wants to go with IVF, because of the cyst and they want me to either get an MRI or do surgery. The reason I chose this clinic is because they were open to the idea of not removing the cyst um, and doing the IUI, I mean IVF. And I'm glad that the cyst didn't become a problem. <sighs> now it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> 